not something that I've wanted to do. It's something that I've had to do, and you can call that a calling or whatever you want. Sturgeon have been in BC waters for millions of years, but now some fear the days are numbered for the endangered fish. It comes down to me is we have a responsibility while we're on this planet. There's a lot of cliches out there, but when you live it and you're on this water every day and you see those fish and you're introducing those fish to other people, you're tagging the fish, you know, you're watching them grow, and you're seeing the small babies. That's not just, you know, you gotta leave it a better place. This is this is your life and this is their life and they were here a lot longer. <laughs> We Fishermen on the Fraser River say thousands of sturgeon are dying every year and they're calling on the federal government to help save the fish. I always use this example. If, if eagles or polar bears or elephants or lions were tangled up in gill nets dying, people would be losing their f***ing minds. I mean, it's something that's, like I said, as simple as Simon's petition, and you guys have no idea how far that signature goes. You're giving these fish a voice, you're giving a whole new life to this river, and you're continuing the growth of an ancient fish that has been around longer than us. Mr. Speaker, I rise to table an electronic petition with 2,657 signatures. The petitioners are concerned about the impact gill nets are having on sturgeon. They call on the government to encourage, implement, and promote alternative sustainable salmon harvesting techniques that will reduce impact on salmon stocks of concern and reduce, eliminate sturgeon bycatch and their subsequent physical damage and mortality. Mr. Speaker, I would like to uh, conclude by congratulating Kevin Estrada from the uh, sturgeon slayers in Chilliwack, British Columbia, for their hard work and their important work on this petition campaign. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Welcome to British Columbia. This is a Guggen Squad episode. Well, my name is Matt Streichel. I am out here to catch my first sturgeon. Actually, the boys invited me out here to British Columbia to fish the Fraser River for sturgeon. My name's Michael Leong. I'm from Prince George, yeah. British Columbia. I'm on a trip to uh, fish with the Guggen, so hopefully we're gonna get a big sturgeon today. Oh my God, it's the Guggens! We are on the Fraser River. I think Hello. it's gonna be a good day. We got clear skies, calm, not much wind, and I think someone today is gonna catch a giant sturgeon. You guys stay tuned. Baby. We're back, year three. The boys have uh, got a few years under their belt now, so now it's time to get them into some bigger fish. They've earned it. They've helped us uh, bring out some awareness on uh, some issues that have plaguing sturgeon over uh, many decades, and uh, I think the fish gods are going to reward them this year. I'm just anticipating this bite. I'm, I'm like I think you can though. Right? First fish jitters right now. Yeah. Just waiting for one to eat. I'm excited. I'm just as excited as you are. There's only the one thing that's like cooler than nailing your first fish ever is like doing it from a third person perspective and just like watching it go down. I'm excited. I, I just want I want you to cross it off today. I want Mike to cross one off today. And then you know, maybe slide in a nice seven yeah, eight it, footer in there. Yeah. <laughs> Salmon eggs. Salmon eggs? Yeah. So row bags? Salmon eggs and some pike minnows, yeah. And some lamprey, and we've got some hooligans. So we've got pretty much everything, so we'll just see what they're biting on. It's kind of different every day, so you kind of throw them out and see what they're after on that particular day. And, got you. And then just fill the water with it for the rest of the day. I've got to fish a lot of places in the world, but something about BC and just being so low in like a mountain valley and just, I mean, look at that. The sun is. It's almost nine o'clock in the morning now and the sun's just about to peak over the mountains. It's 
It's just such a gorgeous place. It's something you have to experience. Exactly. <laughs> so put that into your put put that rod into your hip. You were hooked yep. up. Baby. Yeah. Oh my God, this is sick. It, that bro. was Get insane. It. John you just called that. <laughs> Let him go. Yep. And you can sit down on the dog. <laughs> That's no, cool. I'm gonna stand Let's go up. Back. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take a guess and say this is probably a little bit bigger than me. Can <laughs> 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 like yeah no. Oh yeah! Oh man, I'm already tired. This is not a bad. No, you can't already be tired, dude. No, I'm good. This is just the start. Yes! First quarter! Woo! <laughs> oh. oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like up. This fish is pulling me all over the boat. That's so much power. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna use a side sling cradle here. Slide this guy in here. It's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. And he's hiding one like a like he knows what he's doing, so pretty impressive. Very impressive. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Boom. Big boom. Yes. That was probably the quickest that we've ever caught a sturgeon with Kev. That was record breaking. So this is a recap fish, uh, 431 number, which was done anywhere from 15 to 20 years ago. Could be the first time it's recapped in 20 years. Um, we don't know. Our tag number doesn't show that. Um, but he's a very healthy fish and uh, 201 centimeters long, which is uh, incredible. So we've tagged him, we've done all the measurements, we've recorded it, uh, and this will go into the model now that's been going for uh, almost 25 years. So it's pretty, uh, pretty good stuff. This is the number one tagging program in the world of any species with the most number of samples and the most uh, volunteer hours put towards uh, uh, the sturgeon conservation uh, program. So. This is a very cool fish. We're going to release him out the front now. <laughs> Six foot seven. Yeah, so Dude, over seven feet. Like, I don't think you realize That's how deadly that is for the insane. amount of time we've been fishing. That is crazy. 15 minutes in. 201 centimeters, six foot seven. My goal was to catch a fish bigger than me, and it happened in 15 minutes. Check. <laughs> I mean, that Put was an easy there, one to bro. do. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Oh That's just phenomenal. God. The power of that fish was ridiculous. It's just. We gotta build it's a pond now, though. You see, you set the standard high. Now we have to. Now I we have know. to get bigger. Huge. The next is an eight footer. Catch one. Uh, yeah, eight foot. Let's, let's do eight ten. Foot, yeah. let's, let's do, do ten. Yeah, let's do ten, baby. Let's do ten. We had a bite and a drop, so it's gonna keep waiting. It's getting a bit chilly, but they'll come. Sun's just starting to peak up over the mountains. Hopefully, that brings us a little bit of good luck. If we can't get a fish to bite within you know, 10 to 15 minutes, just move to the next spot, right? Pull hop. So there's lots of fish around, so you got to keep active, keep searching them out, try and find aggressive fish. Um, like I say, when the water temperature gets a bit colder, those fish get a little, a little bit moody. So that's why I like to move a little bit more than normal. Today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. They're having a huge December sale where they're having items go on sale every single day. So make sure to check them out during the month of December. It's also a great time to sign up for Mystery Tackle Box with our code Guggen. You get $10 off. It's like getting out. It's like getting Christmas every single month with a box full of baits. So thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Let's catch some sturgeon. Oh, number four, number four. Yeah, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Number 
Go on, get ready, get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Hit it, hit it, hit it. There you go. Oh, oh wow. Oh, there we go. Lean back Here hard. we go. That's a big one right there, boy. It didn't even move. It didn't even move. What, what pound test was Two hundred pound power pro. Two hundred pound power pro. I mean, you can't even imagine how big of a fish this has to be. You're using what is this? A ten foot rod, extra heavy. In this fish, just owning him right now. <laughs> it's not too bad, but he'll kick my ass soon. <laughs> so we are hooked up with the first fish of the day. We were all we were all luckily watching the rod when it went off, and uh, Michael smoked it. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Did you think by signing a petition you'd end up here? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Uh, 100 pound Hallie. Really? How does this feel? <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have to pull it up from 200 feet. <laughs> Oh, I don't all that, I, all I that don't line you just gained <laughs> is gone. This is big. This is big. Look at this. It could be a fish of a lifetime right here. <laughs> you just never know. It's not even slowing down. It's just like, I'll be right back. Yawn. Just wait. <laughs> it's just not turning, so I'm going to make sure that we... Uh, I'm gonna make sure we pull anchor just so we don't get spooled here because that fish is zipping off some line right now. Any predictions how big you think this is? I don't know. It's my first sturgeon so I don't have anything to go off of but she ain't small. <laughs> this is one of the bigger fights I've seen so this could be, this could be big. First fish. Lucky guy right here. So go ahead and get your body on the right side of the seat. Always going to have your belly facing the line. Yeah, perfect. There goes no five minutes of work. <laughs> this fish is fighting hard. Like it is absolutely kicking his butt. And he is he's fighting it like really, really well too. So I think it's really heavy fish. Uh oh, uh oh. Stand up if you need to, right around the boat. Look at oh my, oh my god, it's a big one! That's ah. a, we just saw the first flash. That's a big fish. Just boy. make sure I got a clear line. That's a oh big my god. Oh. Yeah, hit him. Nice. He's off. He's off. <laughs>